CBN 77 USS George H.W. Bush is not just any aircraft carrier, it's the pinnacle of naval engineering and military power. As the final Nimitz-class carrier, it embodies decades of technological advancements and strategic innovations. From its nuclear propulsion system to its state-of-the-art defense mechanisms, the George H.W. Bush represents a significant leap forward in naval capabilities, ensuring the U.S. Navy's dominance on the seas. In this video, we'll explore what makes the CVN-77 so formidable. We'll dive into its advanced technologies, the power it projects across the globe, and the hidden capabilities that make it a vital asset in modern warfare. Whether you're an enthusiast of military history or simply curious about what makes this behemoth so powerful, you're in for an in-depth look at one of the most impressive vessels ever built. The CVN-77 U.S. George H.W. Bush is the 10th and final Nimitz-class aircraft carrier built for the United States Navy, named after the 41st President of the United States, who was also a distinguished naval aviator during World War II. The carrier represents the culmination of over 40 years of technological advancements in naval engineering in the Nimitz-class program. The decision to name the carrier after President George H.W. Bush was a tribute to his service and leadership, both as a wartime pilot and as Commander-in-Chief. The construction of the USS George H.W. Bush began in 2001 at the Northrop Grumman Newport News Shipbuilding Yard in Virginia. This shipyard, the only one capable of building nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, had already produced all the previous Nimitz-class carriers. The design of CVN-77 incorporated several new features that distinguish it from its predecessors, including an updated island superstructure, new radar systems, and improved living quarters for the crew. The ship was launched in 2006 and commissioned into service on January 10, 2009. The George H.W. Bush features significant technological advancements that set it apart from earlier carriers. One of the most notable improvements is the use of a redesigned bulbous bow, which enhances the ship's hydrodynamics and improves fuel efficiency. The carrier is also equipped with a new dual-band radar system that integrates both X-band and S-band radars, providing enhanced tracking and targeting capabilities. Additionally, the ship features an updated propulsion system with new propellers and more efficient nuclear reactors, which contribute to its increased speed and operational range. The CVN-77 is designed to carry a complement of up to 90 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters, making it one of the most potent air platforms at sea. The ship typically houses a mix of FFA-18EF Super Hornets, E-2D Hawkeyes, EA-18G Growlers, and MH-60RS helicopters, among others. These aircraft provide a wide range of capabilities, including air superiority, strike missions, electronic warfare, and anti-submarine warfare. In addition to its air wing, the carrier is equipped with advanced self-defense systems, including the RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile, Phalanx CWs and rolling airframe missile systems, ensuring robust protection against aerial and missile threats. As the last Nimitz-class carrier, the USS George H.W. Bush plays a critical role in maintaining the U.S. Navy's dominance on the world's oceans. The ship serves as a floating air base capable of projecting power anywhere in the world within a matter of days. The carrier's ability to launch and recover aircraft in rapid succession allows it to sustain high tempo operations over extended periods, making it an essential asset for both conventional and asymmetric warfare scenarios. The CVN-77's presence in a region serves as a powerful deterrent to potential adversaries, underscoring the strategic importance of aircraft carriers in modern naval doctrine. Since its commissioning, the USS George H.W. Bush has been actively involved in numerous operations around the globe. Its first major deployment was in 2011 when it supported operations in the Mediterranean and Middle East as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. The carrier played a key role in airstrikes against Taliban targets in Afghanistan and later supported coalition forces in Operation Inherent Resolve, targeting ISIS positions in Iraq and Syria. 
These operations demonstrated the carrier's capability to conduct sustained air operations in support of U.S. and Allied forces showcasing its strategic value. In addition to its combat role, the CVN-77 has been involved in several humanitarian missions. The ship's ability to carry large amounts of supplies, along with its advanced medical facilities, makes it an invaluable asset in disaster response efforts. For instance, in 2014, the George H.W. Bush was deployed to provide aid during the response to Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. The carrier's crew helped deliver food, water, and medical supplies to affected areas, highlighting the versatility and humanitarian potential of aircraft carriers in responding to global crises. The USS George H.W. Bush typically carries a crew of around 5,000 sailors and airmen, including the ship's company and the air wing. Life aboard an aircraft carrier is demanding, with long hours and challenging conditions, but the ship is designed to support its crew with improved living quarters, recreational facilities, and advanced medical care. The carrier's large size also allows for the integration of modern communications and entertainment systems, helping to boost morale during long deployments. The crew's dedication and professionalism are crucial to the carrier's success as they maintain and operate one of the most complex machines ever built. Like all aircraft carriers, the USS George H.W. Bush undergoes regular maintenance and periodic upgrades to ensure it remains at the cutting edge of naval technology. These maintenance periods, known as Planned Incremental Availabilities PIAS, involve everything from routine repairs to significant upgrades of the ship's systems. Recent upgrades have included improvements to the carrier's radar systems, propulsion, and flight deck operations, ensuring that the CVN-77 remains capable of meeting the evolving demands of 21st century naval warfare. The George H.W. Bush represents the pinnacle of the Nimitz-class design, embodying the lessons learned from over four decades of aircraft carrier operations. As the final ship in its class, the CVN-77 serves as a bridge between the Nimitz-class carriers and the new Gerald R. Ford-class carriers, which are expected to replace the Nimitz-class in the coming decades. The legacy of the George H.W. Bush lies not only in its technological innovations, but also in its contributions to global security, its role in key military operations, and its embodiment of American naval power. As the U.S. Navy looks to the future, the CVN-77 USS George H.W. Bush will continue to play a vital role in the fleet until its eventual retirement, likely in the 2050s. The ship's advanced capabilities, combined with its strategic importance, ensure that it will remain a key component of U.S. naval power for years to come. The history of the George H.W. Bush is a testament to the enduring value of aircraft carriers in modern warfare and the ongoing evolution of naval technology. As we look forward, the CVN-77 will continue to stand as a symbol of American strength, readiness, and commitment to global security. As we wrap up our exploration of the USS George H.W. Bush, it's clear that this formidable carrier is more than just a ship, it's a symbol of technological prowess and strategic power. From its advanced systems to its critical role in global security, the CVN-77 embodies the strength and resilience of the U.S. Navy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into naval history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content.